around the Philadelphia region gave up a chance to sleep in on a Saturday just so they could watch the royal couple's big moment. Eyewitness News reporter Cleve Bryan was among those who decided to dress for the occasion. It was crystal, silver, and fancy hats as members of the British Officers Club woke up early Saturday morning to watch the royal wedding at the Marion Cricket Club. I mean, this is the closest we're going to get to the royal wedding, I think. From regal to relax, the British chip shop in Haddonfield, New Jersey, had a busy royal wedding watch party. And this has been a bigger response than the first one with Will and Kate because of Meghan, and she's American, biracial, so it's like... Really cool. For those who missed the live breakfast broadcast of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's vows, the Cinemark in Somerdale offered a replay on the big screen. I can remember my mom getting up at four in the morning and we watched that together back in the 80s. So I said to Shannon, we're going to do this. It's better to watch it here at home. I don't have interruptions with my brothers. It was a family and pet affair at the London Grill in Fairmont. So this party is BYOC. What does that mean? That means bring your own corgi. Corgi Hannah got the royal treatment. Well, she's been eating biscuits and annoying the people at the restaurant. So <laughs> she's been having a great morning. The Barks didn't bother Jessica Gala. Well, you're dressed lovely. How are you enjoying the royal wedding? Loving it. So excited. I think I got really excited because we have an American princess and uh, I just wanted to come out and watch it. Does this make you feel like you're more part of it? Uh... Yeah, I'm dressing up for them even though they won't see me. <laughs> <laughs> but no one could miss Paul Ripshire from Britain, England, who felt right at home wearing his Union Jack blazer at the bar. I mean, if we were back in the UK, we've been having a party, we'd be doing exactly the same sort of thing that we're doing in here, but it would be every pub, it would be every bar. Like the royal couple, a uniquely American and British affair. When in London, in Philadelphia. Cleve Bryan, CBS3 Eyewitness News.